old mate. What's going on, brother? Well, What's your name? My name's Jack. How are Jack. you? Jack. Good, brother. How are you? How old are you, man? How old are you, bro? I'm 17. 17. Yeah. Just checking to consent for the That's interview. Right. It's all good. So this statement here, I'm asking people whether they agree with it. Do you agree that animals that don't have any rights, any liberty, they're sold for profit, you know, at these live auctions, do you think that they're slaves or it's a slave trade? I don't, I don't believe they're slaves. Okay. I don't believe that the animals have the sentience and the capacity to understand what's really happening to them. Okay. And to us, it's just like a necessary consequence. Okay. So, that, so animals aren't sentient enough to value their own freedom? Uh, well, no. No, I don't think so, because they don't really understand, do they? So, the like, a sp doesn't know what's really happening when it's put into that truck or wherever it's off to, but... Neither would a small child, yeah? That is true. Yeah. Child, would that, should that dictate whether or not they're enslaved or not? Like, No, but a child's different from an animal, in a way. But yeah, but we're only talking about sentience and whether or not they're fully aware of what would happen to them. That is true. Yeah, is yeah, true. yeah. And what was, the, what was the next thing you said, um, animals, so first of all, they're not sentient enough to, yeah. s t to be aware of that, but I think they're sentient enough to value their, their freedom and, you know, when the knife goes across their throat, they're, you, they're losing their life and that, that would fight against... Yeah, an animal's instinct is to survive. Survive. Yeah. Yeah, and they become scared. They do. Yeah, and they feel pain. That is also true. So you but say we're different, right? Well, I, I th you believe that us and animals, are I think we're different as well. But the things that we have in common... Mm. We're obviously both self-aware, you to know. Extent, yes. Yeah, well, not not necessarily equal, but there's marginal yeah. humans that might have a mental capacity, they might have a mental uh, disability. We wouldn't treat them the way we treat cows, yeah, True. based on their sentience level or their intelligence. So, mm. but what we have in common is there's a level of sentience there that you can agree. They feel pain and they suffer. They want to live. You yeah. agree with that? They yeah. value their families. If they get their child stolen and killed, they would be upset with that. You would agree with that? Mm. They do. They do. They do. Yeah. But. Okay, I have no argument. You can't beat me on that one. <laughs> so, so do you think that they can be slaves? Like, animals can be victims of slavery and of murder? Not victims of slavery. Because okay. slavery is different. Slavery is like, like using them. They're not being used? They're being murdered, really. For what? Why are we murdering them? Why are we using them? KFC. Exactly. So they're, they're, their bodies are being eaten and sold. Yeah, but we don't do that with people. Slave trades, like when. But what? Let's just say if we did, what would you call that? If we rounded No, if we rounded up human beings, took away their liberty. Genocide. It oh. could be. Yeah. But they, you know, animals are considered property. Animals are com considered legal property of their owners. Yes. So if a human being was considered property by their owner, what would that be? Slavery. Okay. So why isn't it slavery in the animal context? What is it about them? First, sorry, I have an argument for that. Yeah. So. Neither did I. That's why I'm a vegan. Uh, I'll never be vegan. I love meat too much, yeah. but that's a valid argument. You love meat too much? Yeah. I what love, about the I slavery fact? Vegan. You don't care about that? No, I'm sorry. They make a good burger. There's, not, there's nothing that would stop you from eating meat ever. Nope. Noth yeah. Nothing could put me off meat. But you, I'm you, you ever watched Slaughterhouse so footage? What footage? You ever seen animals be butchered and killed? Have you ever seen a gas chamber before? Uh... Yes, oh, I've heard about Auschwitz. Auschwitz? No, no, pigs are gas chambered here in the UK. What, well, they're gas? Yeah, they're gas chambered. Hmm. I don't know why that I keeps coming up. Yeah, pigs are gas chambered here in the UK. Oh, no. Yeah, a third of all pigs are killed in gas chambers. Let's see if we can find it for you so you can see. Do you hmm. eat pigs? Uh, yeah. Can I you love see bacon. That, you love bacon? Yeah. Do you think this animal is uh, not wanting to die? Probably not. Let's have a look, see if we can find the gas chamber footage. When I first heard it, yeah. there they are, they're getting lowered into there. And they're thrashing and screaming in there. Fair play. Yeah. Sometimes they tear their hoofs off, their little trotters off, down at the bottom of the chamber because they're just trying to struggle and escape. The industry were calling that humane for 25 years. It ain't humane, I'll give it that, yeah. but ain't right. You don't think that's right? I don't think it's right. But you would never stop doing it? Well, I wouldn't stop eating them, no. Yeah, because by virtue of your dollar or your pound, yeah. you go in a supermarket, you're paying them to do that to them. You know that, eh? That is true. Yeah. yeah. So do you feel like there's some blood on our hands if we eat meat? It depends on the way you look at it. Which way are you looking at it? I'm looking at the way we are. When my hands on day, I just enjoy meat.
Yeah. For, so if I were to pay a hitman to go kill someone, would I be morally culpable, morally responsible? Ooh, I'll say him. Uh, Let's just say in court. The trigger. Sorry? I'll say I'll start pulling the trigger if you hire a hitman, yeah. Yeah. But I'm not hiring a farmer to go and stab a cow. Well, you kind of are. That's more or less what their owner's doing. The owner is actually paying them to go and kill the animals. So why do these places exist? For just simply, food. just really, I'm not trying to, it's not a trick just question. Just breed them, make more food. That's to it. make meat? Yeah. Make dairy, make eggs for who? Us. And Everyone you're one of them? That. So if everyone who was like you that ate meat, dairy, eggs and animal products stopped, what would happen to these industries? They would be ruined. They'd go under, wouldn't they? Yeah. And That's what would happen that. to these animals? Don't know. This, wouldn't, this would stop happening, wouldn't it? Yeah, but then what would happen to animals after that? Would they just be set free? What would happen to them? In, yeah, because we'd, it would slowly phase out over time and there wouldn't be a bunch of animals left on Earth. Yeah. We'd stop breeding them, wouldn't we? That is true. Yeah. But then what would happen to their population? They could die out, I think. We you think that uh, right if, we don't, if we don't breed and kill animals, they die out? What about like... I don't know. What we don't about know other what animals, like wild animals? This industry stops. Sorry? I don't know what happens if this industry stops. We've basically captured every single cow and pig and everything like that, so... Yeah, there weren't wild animals, wild cows and wild pigs before we started breeding them and killing them? There wasn't. There was, yes. Yeah. Yes, that's how we started capturing and breeding So they won't go extinct if we stop holocausting billions of them? Yeah, we don't know, but they'll probably still live on. So you don't think this is slavery? Well, this is actually uh, a man sticking his hand in the anus of a cow. Why do you think they do that? Mm. I actually, I actually don't know. So he's putting his hand in her anus to hold the cervix to inject bull semen. Um, so through the anus, he's holding the cervix and then with his other hand, he's injecting bull semen into her. Why, why would he be doing that? Breed them. Yeah. Yeah. For what industry in particular do you think that was? Me. No, that was a dairy industry. That's a dairy industry. Oh, I didn't yeah. know that. To produce milk, cows need to be? Milked. Well, to produce milk, humans need to be milked. <laughs> well, they need to be pregnant, don't they? Yeah. 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 So cows need to be pregnant too. Ah, okay. I didn't know that cows had to be pregnant to produce milk. These are the calves. Oh. In all so fairness, I do like a glass of cold milk every now and then. Yeah. So. You're not a baby cow, bro. I'm not a baby cow. These are yeah. baby cows here. Oh, I want to be a baby cow now then. What, separated from your mother in those little pens? This is in the UK. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. It's pretty grim. So you still don't think that's slavery? Like, just even if you're going to continue to do it, I'm not asking... It's not slavery. Oh, in my opinion, it ain't slavery, but it's morally wrong yeah. to the animals, yeah. It's morally wrong. But it ain't slavery for some reason? No. That you haven't given me? Uh, I don't know. I just don't see it as slavery, but... Okay. That's just the way I see it. Right. You'd see it as slavery. So, so you'd say the problem with uh, our treatment of animals is the way we view them? Because if you don't see it as slavery, then it's not slavery, then it doesn't exist? If, it, if, I, if I kill an animal and I don't say it's murder, that's not murder, that's um, humane slaughter, it's, it's fine. Oh, okay. I like to have an argument, you got me there again. You know what I'm saying? Like, just because yeah. you don't see it as slavery doesn't saying. mean it's not objectively yeah. slavery when you look at it. Hmm. I just don't see it as slavery, but other people see it as slavery and not, yeah. You've been brought I up like I was. Thing. Yeah. Conditioned by the same culture. Mm. I just grew up liking meat a lot more than uh, my local lettuce, so... Well, what about vegan burgers, vegan cheese, vegan ice cream? I've never liked any of them. You never tried? A, have you tried a vegan burger before? My mate's vegan. Never liked the food though. Really? Yeah. What about a Beyond Burger? You had a Beyond Burger? I have no clue what a Beyond Burger is. No. Well, you know what, bro? How about I give you this little card, and maybe one day you might have a realization. That's Land of Hope and Glory, all filmed in the UK. That's Cowspiracy and What the Health. Yeah. That's uh, a vegan challenge on Facebook. It's free. Uh, I might one day, but. Right now, I have no plans to go vegan. Yeah. yeah. No. But you couldn't. I just want you to say yeah. that's slavery. <laughs> Is it the slave trade? Morally wrong. You know, you know how I, how I um, get to, you know, objectively viewing something, whether it's wrong or right. Just put yeah. humans in place of the animals, and what is it? Then that will be slavery if you put humans instead of animals. Yes. There you go. So you have to work out what the difference is between us, why we can be ins uh, enslaved and they can't, why, why are they so below us. Yeah. Cheers, brother. That's all right, man. I'll Good chatting with you, mate. Yeah, <laughs> well. Do you think taste justifies a holocaust of animals? Um, no, I don't.